Hey guys, Miss Saint Ellie here, and welcome back to another episode of The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. In the last episode, we went east of Mabe Village to take a look around this area, and we said goodbye to Bow Wow at long last. I hesitate to say at long last because it sounds like I wanted to get rid of him, which is absolutely not true. Bow Wow was great, Bow Wow was helpful, I love Bow Wow, but he had to go home. And in this episode, we're going to be heading across this bridge to see what awaits us on the other end. But first, I want to take just a moment to go back to Richard because he actually has something to say that's relevant. I just wanted to hang on to Bow Wow so I didn't actually get to see what he wanted to say. So uh, we're going to take a minute to go back and check it out. So yeah, remember this guy? This guy is basically Frog Dude. His name is Richard. We stopped by here very briefly, but he told us that Bow Wow was not welcomed, and he, and he was like, ha ha, get lost, I'm not talking to you. Well, he actually does have something useful to say, and I wanted to touch on this before we progress. Hi. Salutations! You wouldn't know by the look of me, but I used to live in the castle. My servants went berserk and I was forced to flee to my villa. So, you're looking for something, are you? I may just have, uh, I may have just what you're after. But first, I want you to retrieve the golden leaf I left behind in the castle when I fled. No way! Well, I never! I thought you looked cowardly, but... Please leave me. Just get out of here. Yeah, he, he did not take kindly to that. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. Yes. Okay, I'll do it. Smashing! To tell you the truth, there are five leaves and I want them all. Okay, you'll need to do some digging, so buy a shovel. Are you off then? Good luck. So this is the point where, haha, <laughs> you definitely need the shovel to continue. And I do want to take just a moment to listen to the song. So Richard is actually a little bit special. He's a direct reference to the game The Frog for Whom the Bell Tolls. And the music that we're listening to right now in the background is actually the overworld theme for that game. So it's actually pretty interesting. I think that's really cute that they're bringing in all of these different references from all of these different games. And it's like, hello, this is Zelda plus everything else. It's, it's a really cool, it's a really cool little Easter egg if you know about the game. I've never played it myself, but I know that a lot of people do like this game. So it's neat that they included it. Uh, but besides that, there is one more interesting thing here. If you wait for a solid couple of minutes, you get to hear this. Yep, Easter eggs abound in this building. That was Totaka's song. It's a little Easter egg that gets put into games that Kazumi Totaka composes for, or writes music for, or what have you. It's, it's a little thing that has appeared in many different games, like Animal Crossing, Luigi's Mansion, Pikmin. Uh, a bunch of different games have this little tune, and this is surely not going to be the last of them. <laughs> so with that, we're going to go ahead and mosey on along back to the castle. Now that we talked to Richard proper, it's time to head across the bridge! Onward to adventure! <laughs> uh, okay, so first things first, we have a bush here that looks very suspicious. Yeah, it's a tunnel. If it's surrounded by flowers or surrounded by rocks, then it's probably a tunnel. We have some Goombas down here. I want to hop on them so I get a heart. I'm not sure if I've uh, acknowledged this before this point, but if you hop on a Goomba's head, it'll always give you a heart. Whereas I think if you hit it with a sword, then it's only a chance to, but it's helpful regardless. Uh, please stop that. Dark Nut, no thank you. Okay, got ourselves another heart. 
No, and here's another one. Okay. One, two. Nice! Got a rupee. And now here's a bird! I love birds. I love birds so much. Hello, birdie! Unfortunately, it has to die. I hate this, but it has to go. So you can't lure it down by any means, but you can throw a rock and, well, that's that's one. I, I guess that is an any. <laughs> you can lure him down by one means and it is rock. And you found a golden leaf. I guess rock really is super effective on birds. Ha, 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 I play Pokemon sometimes, guys. <laughs> okay, so, uh, come down here. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I wonder. I'm gonna equip this. Aw, I thought I could sneak up on him. It's okay. Ha, ha, catch on fire. I like magic powder. Aw. Uh, yes, yes, no, nothing of interest. Just some rupees. That's it. Uh, nope. Nope. Five rupees. Uh, there. And there. Uh, no. Okay. So all we have to do here is dodge the bombs, but I really don't feel like doing that with this dark nut here. So we're going to take him out first. And now we can play this guy's game. It's basically whack-a-mole, except, you know, he's throwing a bomb. Uh, it shouldn't take all that much. Uh, eventually, he should start pulling... <laughs> or he, he can just die. That's also fine. <laughs> Never mind. So, uh, if you go near him, like, on the last two hits, I think it is, then he'll start pulling his head into the hole if you approach too quickly. But I guess my timing was just specifically on this time around. So, whatever. He died. That's what counts. We got ourselves the second golden leaf of five. And now all we need to do is head into the castle and see what awaits us. Uh, ah! All right, right off the bat, this thing right here is called an anti-fairy. And if you douse it with magic powder, it turns into an actual fairy. We already have a fairy, so I don't really need it. But that's a really cool tip if you are in need of health in the middle of a dungeon that has this type of enemy. Uh, now... <laughs> I do, I do want to say something about that, but I'll get to that in just a moment. Um, right after we clear this area and I can take you guys out. Ha <laughs> ha, thank you for the hearts. Uh, oh, that's another leaf. I always think that this is a feather. I always think that this is a feather. Golden leaf. Okay, with that, we're gonna go up here. We should be getting over to what I wanted to bring up in just a moment. Pain, come on. Come on, there we go, yes. Yes. And one more guy, can I just? Ha ha! Nice. Step on that to open up the door to the, uh, the castle. I almost said open up the door to the gate and I was like, no, that doesn't make sense. The gate is the door. Uh, so now we can enter and exit as we please, with, which is nice. Um, head up the stairs, go through the door, and this is what I wanted to talk about. This is a spark. This is not an anti-fairy. I just want to put that out there. I got uh, quite a few people who are like, if you toss magic powder on the spark, it'll give you a fairy. No, it doesn't. You can't even kill it with magic powder. It does nothing. Uh, un it looks kind of similar to the anti-fairy, I guess. It kind of fulfills a similar purpose, so I can see where the confusion is. But, uh, yeah, magic powder on those things does absolutely nothing. Uh, how about you die? Kabam! Ha ha! Uh, there we go. And we get another golden leaf. Now we're just tearing through these. Uh, whoop! 
Uh, you're intimidating. I don't like you. Unfortunately, we're gonna have to fight you in just like a couple of minutes. Ah, uh, head over here, go through this door. <laughs> okay, I, I fall for this every single time. There's a vase on this door, correct? You see that? Clearly, we have to do something with the vases. What I always want to do is destroy all of the vases, and I feel like that should give me a uh, passage into the next room. That's not what you need to do. You need to just hit the door with the vase, and then it opens up. Now this guy! Okay, so uh, he's kind of a pain. Uh, a pain in a lot of ways. Oh. Aha! So he's gonna be swinging that around. I like to jump out of the way. Technically, you can use your shield, but it's a little bit risky because the ball does have a tendency to hit you even if you are using the shield. So uh, I like to just kind of circle around and jump, but my timing is real bad, so I don't know. <laughs> that was, okay, I would have done, I, I would have done good if I hit the right button. Still not doing good, it's fine. Haha, -ha, there you go, you can jump right over it. I'm actually hurting quite a bit. Maybe I should take a fairy. Yeah, I've always been garbage at dodging those things. No matter if I'm using the jump or using the shield, somehow I always get hit. It's just one of those things that I have a hard time getting used to. But regardless, we had a fairy, so everything is all good. We have the fifth golden leaf. This must be the last one, right? Thankfully it is. We got five out of five, which means now we can head over to Richard. Uh, there is a little shortcut down here, so you don't have to walk through the whole dungeon all over again. A little mini dungeon. It's not really a dungeon. Does this count as a dungeon? I guess it kind of counts as a dungeon, right? Yeah, you go in, it's like, it's kind of like, uh, 0.5 dungeon. Richard! Hello, good buddy, old pal of mine! Are you ready for some golden feathers? How grateful are you? Ha! Très bien! I see you have recovered all of the leaves. Now move this statue and you'll find your reward. Cool beans. Thank you very much. Sparkle. I am forever in your debt for getting my leaves back. Great. Does that mean you like Bow Wow now? Because we're kind of a package deal. All right, we're gonna head down here. Our reward is pretty cool. For one, we want to head over here, jump over here, and <laughs> I wonder what's in this chest. We got a secret seashell, which is kind of a spoiler off of that little chime, but whatever. It's helpful. I like it. It'll help me not miss things. So we got we yeah we we got ourselves a seashell. Aww, is there anything else in here that I can... Ow. That was rude. Nothing else? Okay, nothing else, I guess. Well, here's our actual <laughs> reward. It is not death. That was an accident. Our actual reward is here in Pothole Field. Look at Pothole Field living up to its name. This is definitely a whole lot of potholes. Look, look, look at this place. This place is just packed with them. We're also getting a pretty penny off of all of this grass, too. Ah, here we go. Fine. That's okay. Uh, so, there's a heart piece over... Stop that. Please stop. There's a heart piece over there. Uh, unfortunately, there is a two-layer hole business in this nook. That sounds real weird, but it is true. There's a two-layer hole bu business in this nook. And if you want this, you can cheese it. Eventually. You, you have to jump at the right time. You can do this if you're not sucking like I am. Oop. Nope, not quite. You have to kind of ride the center line without falling into the hole behind you. And 
I got it! Look at that! Piece of heart! And... Oh! I got one back! Nice! Okay, you know that actually doesn't usually go that bad, but also well. Normally you have to actually jump back, which is also kind of a pain, but... I think you're not supposed to get that until a little bit later, but... Whatever. <laughs> you can cheese it now. You might as well cheese it now. Uh, it's helpful and you don't have to come back and backtrack all this way. Ah, uh, in soil sleep secrets beneath your souls. That looks like a tongue twister, but it really isn't. In soil sleep secrets beneath your souls. Yeah, it's not a tongue twister. Ah, uh, shovel beneath my souls is... A key! Specifically, the slime key. So, remember that dungeon that we passed by not too long ago? Yeah, we can finally go... <laughs> ...take care of it. Speaking of which, it's right here. Um, okay, so here's the deal. I'm not gonna unlock that yet. Because, uh, I have other things that I would like to do before going into there, so uh, we're not gonna worry about uh, going into the dungeon at current moment. Maybe in a little bit, but not right now. Uh, instead, what we're going to do is pop up here. Uh, I'm gonna take a peek. Okay, no, that's not what I wanted. We're gonna pop up here, follow the pathway east a little bit. Oh, wait a second, what's this? What is this? Open and go in. Ah, never mind. We we can't do anything with that yet. Remember this cave. Remember that cave. We we can't do anything with it yet, but we will in due time. Hey, Taryn. Taryn, what's up? Oh, Link. I see you have a nice stick. That's that's a little creepy, dude. It's a little creepy, dude. Don't, don't, don't be poking, poking out people's sticks. Can I borrow it for a second? Can't. Hmm, Link, you are mean. <laughs> Wait, I just, there's just something about this text box that amuses me. It's just very awkward. Hmm, Link, you are mean. <laughs> there's just something with the spacing is very awkward. But, uh, okay, you, you want a stick? I'll give you, I'll give you a stick. I'll give you a stick. You can borrow it. Take it. It's your funeral. Go ahead and poke that bee's nest. Go ahead. Yeah, like I said, I hope you're not allergic, Taryn. Please go to the hospital. I don't know what else you were expecting, but that was not a very good idea. The stick became the honeycomb, so now we have a new item to keep with us. Aww, and we also have this. In here is a fairy's fountain, which is perfect timing because I just used up my fairy. So now we can replace that and have another full heal on us. Now, I think we're actually... Whoop! I hate you. Uh, I think we're actually almost good. Just about. But first, we're gonna dig up this spot that was underneath that skull for another secret seashell. Uh, head up, and just so that you're aware, this connects to the area right underneath of the castle. So, uh, it's, it's all pretty connected. It's honestly pretty interesting how convenient it is to get from place to place, even without the warps, but hey, here we are. We're back over by Pothole Field. And, hmm, yeah, honestly, I think that's all I really wanted to tackle in this episode. I was mostly concerned with getting to this point so that in the next episode, we can head on into our next dungeon. Looking forward to that. So, I will see you guys next time. Hussein Ella, out.